Hello, my sewing friends. Let's talk about Vintage Vogue 1588 from 1996. I'm Jen and this is my sewing room where I made this. This is Vogue 1588. It is from 1996 and I made a size 16 out of scraps that I had left over from another project. I color blocked it out as you can see. This says easy, indeed it is. It's very simple to put together even though it looks kind of crazy. You don't have to do the, the uh, view that I did, which is this one. There are also more simple views. So if you were to get your hands on this pattern, uh, you could easily make basically just a tank dress. But um, I love this dress. Um, it does fit pretty close. So you know the shape where it was going on, but uh, I don't know. It's just got this really interesting line to it. Now the fabrics it calls for are Silk Like Crepe, Shelly, and Georgette. And uh, the two views that are not the view that I made, um, this one and this one, I think they're B and C, they are lined. So, you know, the Vogue had this idea that it needed to be kind of um, dressier fabrics, you know, and I had this linen left over and I thought, why not use that? So I was not going to use it, but then my friend Michelle talked me into it. And this is a chambray linen from fabricmark.com and uh, it, it washes beautifully, it works couple of things about this pattern. First of all, the pattern pieces are crazy. <laughs> you have your front piece and it's, you know, it's cut like this, but well, first of all, it's cut, you know, odd because there's this odd part of it. And, and then it's wider and it, because it wraps around, see how it wraps around to the back here. So the pattern piece looks like this, but flat. It's crazy. And the same with the back, you know, you have this and then it wraps around to, you know, to the front. So you have, really have to look at the pattern pieces and make sure that you are looking at the right thing. Make sure that you look at the piece as it's labeled underneath, you know, where the pattern number is and sizes and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You need to do that because if you don't, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, it goes together really quickly simple to do. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the um, armholes being a little too big. And that frequently happens to me when I make a size that is going to accommodate my bust and my uh, waistline. Um, I've heard Nancy Zeman say, when you pick a size, you should pick a size that's your upper bust measurement instead of your full bust. But I always look at the pattern for the finished measurements and uh, I just didn't think that a 14 was quite going to do it. So I went ahead and went with the 16 and I'm glad I did because if I hadn't, this would have been really tight. But the armholes tend to gape when I do that. And so this is made so that you have a bias binding that goes, uh, it goes up here and then across and then back around. and then. Uh, one thing I liked that this pattern tells you to do is you make the straps and you attach them at the back, but you don't attach them at the front until you figure out where you want them. I appreciated that so much because so often it's the opposite where you have to attach them in the front and then figure out where you want them in the back. And if you're the one fitting yourself, then it's good. You have to be a contortionist to do that. So I really appreciated that. So what I did was went in and removed some of this bias binding, which by the way is made so that you cut, it, they give you a continuous piece, uh, a pattern piece that you can then uh, sew together and mark and just cut so that uh, it's just one big long piece of the uh, bias. And then they have you fold it in half because it's, it's probably about two inches wide, I wanna say and then you fold it in half, and then when you stitch it, you stitch it along the raw edge, but then you can just fold it like this. And when you go to stitch it down, you've got that fold edge that's a finished edge. So there's not a whole lot of uh, fussing around with trying to fold something under and you know all that. 
So you do that all around here. When I uh, went in to fix this armhole gate thing, I uh, removed some of that. And then I just went over to the mirror and pinched it out. And I ended up putting in a couple of darts here. They're not very big darts, but and they do ankle down. But you know what? That fixed the problem, and that was important to me. One thing I did, well, another thing I did was that I figured out where I wanted the straps before I fixed this problem. And that was important because if I hadn't done that, then I may have gotten this part wrong because, you know, of the way it falls, the way it drapes. It does come down kind of low, depending on where you put the straps. And I wasn't wild about that, but at the same time, um, it's not really that I'm so put off by the the depth of the, you know how low the not the neckline goes. It was more that I didn't like that U shape. I'm not wild about that, and I should have figured that out from the pattern. You can clearly see it's a U shape. But if I were going to do it again, I might cut cut this differently. Maybe cut it more in like a sweetheart shape, or you could even square it off if you wanted to. Lots of options there. You know, if you're creative and you just want to fiddle around with the pattern. Overall, I'd say, yeah, I recommend this pattern. Actually, on any figure. These days, it's any figure. This would look gorgeous, uh, especially if you used a very kind of a slinky fabric and you wanted something that's kind of dressy to be able to wear to um, like a wedding or something like that, you know, a formal occasion. It is long. I made the longer version because there was really no option to make it shorter. Uh, the, you can make it shorter, but these two other views are really, those are the shorter ones. And the way this was cut in so many crazy pieces, you know, um, I just did not want to mess with that. So I just went ahead and made it long. And then I asked my husband after I got it done, what do you think? Should I cut it off and make it shorter? He goes, no, no, I think you need to leave it long. It's pretty. So that is my opinion of Vogue. 1588 from 1996. Let me know if you've ever made this pattern, if you like it, if you were disappointed with it, if you made a different view, what fabrics you made it out of. I'm always interested to know if someone else has made something like this and how they interpreted it. So that'll do it for me for now. Uh, if you would like to see a playlist of my other pattern reviews, just check right over here. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And don't forget that you are the most precious, precious, invaluable person that God could ever have created.